Our first question comes from Dan Raphael with ESPN. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, just to be clear, uh, uh, um, Sean is going to be on a little bit later, correct? I missed the beginning of the call. Is that right, Kelly? Yes, he'll, he'll, he's coming on right after. Okay, very good. I do have a, a couple of questions for uh, for Cal. Cal, good to talk to you. Uh, I know this uh, fight for you has been a long time coming uh, in terms of fighting for one of the world titles. Um, can you talk about just the general, uh, I guess, frustration, if that's the right word, that you have had um, given what happened? You had a fight set up with Devin Alexander when he had this belt. I guess it was postponed and then canceled, I believe, three different times, uh, once because he was injured, twice because you were injured, and then you had to fight another fight or two uh, just to you know, keep active in another eliminator. Uh, but now you finally have the opportunity. What's it been like the last, I guess it's been about a year and a half, uh, trying to get to the point where you're actually going to get in the, in the ring and fight for one of the titles? Yeah, Dan, it's, uh, it's been very, very frustrating for me. Um, you know, I've, I've been in line to, you know, for the title before, and, uh, you know, Injuries, or called 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 the delay. So you know, being on the back burner, and uh, you know, trying to fit fighting in between. But you know, I'm onto a new chapter now, and here we are. You know, I think Devin gave Sean Porter, you know, a volunteer, I and mean, he was taking that taking it off him. And then he's, he's looked he's looked good in his his, his, his defense against Malinaja. You know, he's, he took care of him. You know, which no one has done before. So you know. He's, it's proven that he's, he's a he's worthy uh, champion. So no, like I'm there. Here we are again, and, and you know, I think you know I'm more than ready. You know, I've I've, I've been training very hard for this fight, and uh, as Miracle has shown, 32 and all, you know, that's what I like to do is win. And uh, you know, I'm going over there and giving it giving it me all. So you are uh, you will be making your I believe your second fight in the United States. I was at your first fight, but it was on an undercard. It was not televised here. Uh, you know, it was not against a, a top level opponent. But you did get the experience of traveling uh, out of your comfort zone to fight. Do you think the fact that you've had one fight in America, although you know on the opposite coast of where uh, you'll be fighting against Porter, um, do you think just the the idea that you've traveled for uh, a fight? Um, will put you a little bit more at ease being outside of England when you when you get into the ring for this uh, you know biggest fight of your career. Yes, most definitely. Um, you know, I, I boxed out there before on Portugal, and uh, you know, it was the first time me doing that. You know, boxing for more, and uh, you know, we're thinking about it a bit. But you know, after being there, you know, speaking to the fans and and just you know just seeing it. You know, getting in and getting it, getting, getting it out of the way the first. You know, important to the faster. You know, just the ring and the day, like it is anywhere. And the opponent opposite. So, you know, I've I've ticked that. I've ticked that now. You know, I've done that, and uh, you know, it won't be bothering me at all. You know, I know that. It's, I know that this is going to be the toughest fight in my life, but you know, I'm prepared for it. And it's just me, me, Sean Porter in that ring. I'm, I'm the 16th, and I'm, you know, I'm ready. And uh, just one other thing for you, Kel. How far in advance of the fight will you arrive in America? How far in advance? Like, what, you know, when the fight's on August 16th, at what point will you come to the United States and and, uh, and, and arrive for the fight? Yeah, well, I'm coming over, coming over Wednesday. So I think it'll be like two and, a, two and a half weeks before the fight. Oh, like this Wednesday? Like day after tomorrow? And it's on. Yeah. Okay, very good. Uh, thank you very much, Kel. Uh, Oscar, I have a question yeah. for you if you're there. Yeah, I'm here. Oscar, uh, you know, this is, a, this is a really good card that you put together, the triple header. I think every fight on there has, uh, you know, an interest level. Uh, I'm curious why you're going uh, to, to the StubHub Center for this event. It's a great venue. We all know that. They've had a lot of great fights there. But not any of the six principal boxers in any of the title fights has any particular ties to the community, California, it just, it just seemed like an unusual selection. I was curious why uh, why the StubHub Center instead of, you know, someplace like Porter's hometown or Texas where Figueroa is a draw or even, you know, uh, somewhere else like with Darrell and Bika. I mean, StubHub seemed an unusual choice to me, so I was just curious on the philosophy of going to this arena. Dan, the, the StubHub Center was a perfect fit for, for this type of card. Uh, as you know, Subhub Center has 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 now the reputation of staging some of the best fights uh, in, in recent years. Um, uh, we 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 saw Guerrero and Kamagai, which was a tremendous tremendous fight. 
And so when when putting this fight, this event together, um, uh, the StubHub Center uh, uh, was the, was was the first choice. Uh, the fact the fact that you have no no uh, local fighters uh, does not matter. I think the I feel that the, the fans uh, in Los Angeles who will be attending are are just accustomed to watching some great fights no matter where they're from. And and the fact that the fighters will be performing at the Stub Up Center, um, there's there's a bit of added pressure um, for every single fighter because you must perform <laughs> at the Stub Up. It's 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 kind of it reminds me kind of like the Thunderdome um, uh, movie with Mel Gibson. I mean, you have to fight there. You have to you have to. The atmosphere is great. The fans are expecting great fights, and and I believe this is what Cal Brook. And Sean Porter uh, and every fighter on the card will give us is, is a tremendous, tremendous fight. All right. Thank you very much for that, Oscar. Thank you, Cal, for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you. Our, our next question comes from Jenna Jay with On the Robes Boxing. Hi, Cal. How are you doing today? Yeah, I'm fine. Good. Well, Cal, the question I have for you is, is um, you know, obviously you had the delays of the Alexander fight, but you made good use of it because you took on a very tough contender in Sinchenko and you beat him quite easily, especially after he was coming off the win of over Ricky Hatton. Can you tell me a little bit about that performance you had and, and what it did for your confidence level? Yeah, I think it was. I think it was the right game and I think it was the right fight. Um, I think overall, uh, getting Senchenko out of there in, in four rounds, I think it was appealing for the fans and, and for my career. Um, and I think it was a good performance overall. All right, now, Kel, when you were sitting on the outside looking at Alexander and he had that fight with Sean Porter, how surprised were you that he lost the title to Porter? No, I, I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't shocked. Uh, surprised. You know, because anything can happen in boxing, and um, you know, I, I could see that I could see his strategy and game plan. I think there's, there's a blueprint over that with Devin uh, again, as many box badly, you know, and that's to smother him. So he like he likes to keep that distance and be and be on the back foot. So you know, when watching it, you know, I won't I won't I won't really too shocked. All right, well, some people were quite surprised by Porter's next fight when he fought Tom Naji and he took him out so easily. Um, what were your thoughts on that particular fight? Yeah, well, I remember watching that fight. Uh, to be honest, yeah, I, I, I didn't, I didn't expect that, so he couldn't, he could crush it. He'd been shocked, um, and after knowing that Malinaji was being in with Cotto and you know other big names and other big punches. And no one's managed to ever stop him. You know, I were I were slightly surprised. You know, not you know knowing that Sean Porter and not nobody out in two years before that. You know, it was it was a bit of a shock to me. And uh, Kel, I know you're not looking at all ahead of yourself, but I'm sure you are aware how big it would be if you were able to get this title belt. An all UK fight between yourself and Amir Khan would be quite interesting. Do you have that just a little bit in the back of your mind? Yeah, of course, you know, of course it's a business and it is in my mind, you know, I know that it's, you know, this is the key, this is the key to Fort Knox, you know, this, it's a business, it's a massive money fight out there, not just in the car, but international, you know, fights, like your mayor with his, you know, your bud, Akil, you know, I think people in America and around the world, you know, take note, you know, after beating Sean Paul. All right, now, final question for you. When American fight fans get to see you in this fight against Sean Porter, what do you think they'll be surprised about most? I don't think they'll be surprised. I think, you know, I think uh, it is what it is going to see. He's going to see what Calvert can really do. And I, 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 in fact, we've seen a lot of everyone around the world going to see, you know, why they do come with especially one another right there. And you're going to see, you're going to see me in the best. All right, well, thank you, Kel, for answering my questions, and good luck on August 16th. Thank you. Our next question comes from Lem Satterfield with the ringcv.com. 
Hey, Kel, how are you? Hey, um, Kel, um, I talked to uh, Sean about this fight, and he said that um, of all the fighters he's faced, you will be the more technical of the fighters, meaning he won't be able to just charge in. I mean, he acknowledged that, and he acknowledged that you're probably more uh, skillful and, I guess, uh, cerebral um, than most of his other opponents. What do you think he meant by that, and how much uh, is he on point? I think he knows that, you know, he's, uh, he's up against someone who's 32 and all, you know, who's, who's passionate about becoming world champion, who's, who's a similar risk to himself, you know, and, he, and he's probably seen the cat like reaction, and it, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a big welterweight and strong and determined, and I think that he can he maybe, maybe, maybe see in my eyes that, you know, I'm not coming to lay down, I'm coming to, you know, lay it on the line, you know, I'm, I'm a lion, I'm, com I'm coming to. You know, to get that title, and I think he, he knows that it's going to be like that. Kel, so do you have any uh, doubts that you could win a decision over here in America? Do you think? Uh, are there, do you have any reason for concern as far as the judges? Yeah, of course, of course, of course. Yeah, of course. You know, just for your mind, but I think you know all the world. You know, all the world is going to be watching it. It's a hot division. You know, and it's. it's the winner is going to be winning clearly, so you know all the all, all the all the world gonna are gonna see it. So you know, obviously it's going to run through your mind. You know, I think I'm not I'm not in my in my own own country. But I think fair, fair. I think that you know, I think in this fight it's going to be it's going to be so clear that all the winners. You know, there's not going to be there's not going to be no no doubt.